What's up everyone? Tiffany Quinn here and this is our Total Body Triceps Workout. Through today's routine, I'll be helping you build lean muscle definition throughout with an evenly split upper and lower body dumbbell strength training. All you need for today's workout is a set of light to medium weight dumbbells for your upper body, as well as a heavier or moderately heavier set for lower body if available to you. For your reference, I will be using my 5 pound, my 10 pound, and my 15 pound pairs of dumbbells, but of course use what's most suitable for your level. Now smash that thumbs up button for me, subscribe to the channel for a new routine every week, and don't forget to grab your free March fitness guide from the links below. Within this calendar, you'll be given 5 workouts a week to complete, and I'll be bringing you a new triset strength-based workout every week throughout the month. Alright everyone, let's go ahead and get started. Game on everyone, welcome to our Total Body Triceps Workout. Now for our format today, because we are going straight into our dumbbell strength after a quick mobility warm up, we have a total of 10 triceps to cover. Our first five triceps will be exclusively for upper body strength, whereas our second half of the workout and our next set of five triceps will be for lower body. Now our timer today is going to be set for 60 seconds work. Another 60 seconds work might be a different side or a different exercise you'll see as we get there. Then another 30 seconds work to complete that triceps and a 30 second rest between each of those sets. So as I said, we are starting off for our first triceps with a shoulder mobility warm up just to get things ready. And if you would like to do this in standing because we are doing a variation on the mat, all you're going to do is the same exact exercise following along with me. Keeping the shoulders away from the ears, you're going to take your hands out to the side with the palms facing away, and we're going into our controlled articular rotations through the shoulder, all right? So just follow with me, same exercise, just from a standing position. So those of you who would like to do the other variation, we're coming down to the mat, onto the forearm, lifting the rib cage up and elongating that bottom leg. Now with that top leg, we're going to take it forward, flexing the foot, this is here for support. Now take that top arm and line it up with your midline, the palm also facing away. Now keeping the shoulder away from the ear, we're coming up and overhead in three, in two, get yourself ready, in one. Our timer is officially started. We've got one minute on this side. Let's come towards the midline, pulling tension through that arm, straightening things out, internal rotation at the top, and all the way down back to the midline and then reverse all the way up a duck towards the midline external rotation and down fighting for a bit more range of motion with each rep staying in a pain-free range of motion and only moving through that shoulder joint again you want to keep the shoulder away from the ear so we don't want it to come up as we come up overhead into our internal rotation into extension all the way down, fight for more internal rotation. Reverse it, all the way up, external rotation. All the way down, fight for more as you reach the midline. One more rep here, overhead. Back down, and let's take it around just to finish off that circle and switching sides. So once again, onto the forearm, the rib cage is lifted, core is tight, bottom leg straight, top leg comes forward, and your hand out towards the midline to start, coming up towards the midline, internal rotation at the top, all the way down, and reverse it into extension, external rotation, fight for more external rotation, and down, just warming up the shoulders. Now we are actually starting with back and biceps, so we'll be including an elbow mobility with this as well. Take that 30 second rest, get our weights, and get into our first position. All the way up, get ready for a burn. I was looking forward to this one all day. Back around, a little bit of a faster pace today for these. Still controlling that motion, pulling tension through the arm. One last loop overhead, external rotation at the top, come down and come into a kneeling position for me. Same thing from a standing position. All right, we're starting with the palms facing down, a little bit away from the body. Come up, externally rotate through the elbows, and down. Coming up, internal rotation, and down. External rotation, lower, keep tension in those arms. For two, thumbs are out, and down. 
Last one, thumbs are in and down. All right. So I'm actually going to start off with my 15 pound weight today. What you use is entirely up to you, your skill level, what you're comfortable with and how much of a burn you want. But we're starting with one side. So the right leg is going to come out into extension. We're on the left knee and the left arm is the one that's going to row and lower. At 30 seconds, we're switching sides. Then we switch that exercise in two, in one. Core is tight, facing down towards the mat. Row up towards the waist and lower. Elbow is staying close to the waist and you're squeezing that shoulder blade at the top. Focusing on that strength. I'm sure I could go a bit heavier here, but I do want to talk you through this. Another three and two. Last one, now changing sides, left leg out. Right arm rows, squeeze up and lower. Squeeze up and lower. I'm telling you, these are gonna go by pretty fast today. Towards the waistline and down, breathing throughout and lower. Up and lower. Another two. Last one, control that weight and back over to that other side, extending the right leg. This time we row, lower, hammer curl down. Palm is in the entire way through. Hammer curl and down. One, two, three, four. Keep that elbow tight towards the waist the entire way. Squeeze up, lower. Think about that bicep as you curl. Last rep here and changing sides. Left leg steps out, right arm rows, comes down, hammer curl, lower. Not allowing the upper body to sway. You're in a full body brace here. That core is tight and we're already starting to feel good, right? Row, lower, hammer curl, down. One, two, three, four. Last one and back up. And now from here, you can come into a kneeling position with both of those weights just to finish off the biceps. The palms are facing away, the elbows are tight. Bottom to the top. Bicep curls. Up to the shoulder, all the way down. For three. For two, keep it controlled, but work for it. Last one, squeeze that bicep and lower. Incredible job. All right, so from here we're going into chest and triceps. Now this one can be a little bit tricky, but I do think you're gonna like it. Same thing from standing, if you prefer to stay in a standing position. Now I am switching to my 10 pound weight for this. The right leg comes forward. What we're going to do is twist towards the kneeling side, up to the shoulder, cross body curl, and twist. One, two, clean and twist. Towards that kneeling side. Three and four. Elbows face forward throughout. Weight stays close to the head as you come around. Should feel pretty good. The back is straight and we're bracing that core to prevent the upper body from rocking. Only thing moving is the arms. One, two, twist, keep the weight close. One, two, twist overhead. Have some fun with it. Three and four. One, two, three and four. Right into the exercises. I'm actually really liking this one. It feels good. I think the tough part is to stop your body from rocking, working against the momentum. Last one, quick change, left leg forward, right leg back. From standing, same thing, just without the kneel. Towards the kneeling side, we twist. Towards the waist, opposite shoulder, and twist. One, two, three, four. Holding tension in those arms throughout. As you come overhead into that twist, be mindful not to allow the shoulders to do this. We don't want to hunch up. One, two, three, four. 
One, two, three, four. I can show you from the side. Two, three, and four. Across, take it over and twist. Doing incredible. Did I get your heart rate up yet? <laughs> Is the excitement enough? I'm hoping so. Three more. Two more, elbows are forward. Last one, two, now take it to center. We're gonna take the knees a little bit wider and that weight is vertical. We press up towards the ceiling and down at a 45 degree angle. If you'd like, you can work those quads by leaning back. Press, lower, press, lower. Back is straight, core is tight. Feel the burn, enjoy it. For five, four, then you get a break. Three, work your way back up. Two, last one, and lower that weight. Okay, we've only got two more sets to go. Now, this next one is for shoulders. I would suggest if you have them, slightly heavier weights than we're going to use for the last set. So I'm sticking with the tens, and then on the next set, I'm gonna be using my fives. So we're going to start with shoulder presses. You know my favorite. Again, you can come into standing if you'd like. That weight is starting off with the elbow in line with the shoulder, a 10 to 30 degree angle forward with the elbow, and we press, two, three, four. Press, two, three, four, core is tight. Now from here, you keep on working for me, I'm gonna grab some water. Press, two, three, four. Chest is lifted and proud. One minute per side. If you feel like you can pick up a bit heavier, by all means go for it. But remember, we've got two and a half minutes to cover. Press, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Not allowing the body to rock. We wanna stay up and tall, powerful, strong, just like I know that you are. Press, two, three, four, three more. Two more. Last one, bring that weight in towards the shoulder and changing sides. Press, two, three, four. Elbow stays in line with the shoulders, you come down. Now depending on what's more comfortable for you, you may be at a slightly larger angle forward. That's fine, do what works for you. What I like about having that little bit degree forward is that we're working more of the anterior deltoid as opposed to if we were straight out to the side, it's not as effective, and this tends to be a bit safer for rotator cuff. 30 seconds, breathe through it. Will yourself to get through it. Arms at first was very challenging for me. I hated getting through arm workouts, and now I actually really look forward to them. Press, two, three, four. Four more. Three more. Last two, we're not done yet, remember. Last one, grab a hold of that other weight. And from here, Arnold, press. The palms are facing in at the shoulder, press. Careful not to lock the elbows out, to palms in. One, two, three, a little bit quicker. One, two, three, there you go. 15 seconds. I want high energy today. I want you to feel that burn. Another three. Kind of feeling the purple all around me right now. Last one, bring it in and get yourself ready for that last and final burnout of shoulders and our last tricep for upper body. I told you it would go quick. So right after this one, we are already halfway through the workout. Then we get another mobility drill for hips and then we go straight into our dumbbell strength for lower body. Okay, so we're starting off with side arm raises at about a 45 degree angle. In five seconds, Whew. take a breath. Palms are facing down. We're not letting the weights touch the thighs at any point. Lift and slow to lower, control it. Don't let the weights drop. You own them, you bought them. One, two, three, and four. Training our arms, training our muscles, training the shoulders to work. Amazing. Quick up and slow to come down. We're almost there. 
You've got one more minute to follow for both arms and then we switch it up a little bit. One, two, three, and four. These are my fives. Certainly wouldn't go too heavy for these. Four more. Three more. Two more for me. Facing straight ahead, last one. Slowly lower, starting on the left side. The right arm can just kind of chill a little bit away from the thigh, so I want you to have some tension there. Quick and partial, one quarter of the way up, one quarter of the way down. Lift, lower, lift, lower. The weight is floating away from the body. You're barely doing anything, right? Nope, my shoulder's shaking, I'm totally lying. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Power through it for four, three, two, one more. Keep it away from the thighs, over to the right. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Then 30 seconds, then you are officially halfway through this workout. Lift, lower, lift, lower, 15 seconds. Now, those of you who have a wall nearby, you're going to need it for our next set. If you have done our hip mobility drills, you know how to do the hip cars. It will be the same thing from a sideline position. I'll be showing you a wall variation today. Last one on the right. Now we're gonna take one of our heavier weights and we are curling up, overhead press, come down and lower. One, two, three, four. Elbows are tight. Face forward as you come overhead. Two more. Last one, finish strong. Make it your best rep, slow to lower, slow to lower for two, for one and lower it down. All right, we are gonna need those heavier weights to follow so you can keep those nearby. If you do have a wall, we're gonna be working on a hip mobility. So same thing for our hip cars from a side lying position. Otherwise, we're placing our hands on the wall, the shoulders are away from the ears. Step it out just a little bit and squeeze that core tight. We wanna prevent any sort of rocking forward and back, only working through the hip. On the left side, we're gonna lift into hip flexion Abduct away from the body, internal rotation. Adduct in towards the midline. Stack forward, donkey kick into extension. External rotation. Come forward, fighting for more hip flexion, and extend. In hip flexion, out and away. Internal rotation, adduct in. Stack forward, donkey kick into extension. External rotation, adduct towards the midline and extend, lifting up, trying to fight for more range of motion each time, staying in a pain-free range. Come forward into extension without compensating at the lower back. Fight for more hip flexion and extend one more. Out and away, keep those hips stable. Come forward into extension, external rotation, adduct in and extend over to the right side. Coming up in a hip flexion, abduct away, internal rotation, adduct towards the midline, stack forward, into extension, external rotation at the hip, adduct in, fight for more hip flexion, and extend. Warming up the lower body for our squats, as well as our deadlifts, kick back, external rotation, bring it forward, and extend, core is tight. In the hip flexion, abduct away, internal rotation, adduct towards the midline, stack forward, into extension, don't allow that lower back to move, external rotation, fight for more hip flexion, adduction, and extend one more time. Internally rotate, bring it in, come forward, kick it back, out to the side, towards the center, and extend. Now from here, you're gonna walk yourself down, same thing from a quadruple position into a 90 degree angle. Now, we're only moving through the pelvic bones. Pelvic tilt forward, posterior rotation, and anterior rotation back, core is tight. Tucking the hip bones under, might take a little practice. Anterior rotation back, forming that arch. Bringing it forward once again, through the hips. 
into anterior rotation. Now straighten yourself out, walk it back up, and get yourself ready for the start of our lower body triceps. So we're starting off with the hamstrings. We're actually doing some deadlifts, but we're going to walk them. So I want you to grab one weight and come to the back of your mat for me. Now we're stepping forward, keeping that weight in the same side throughout, into a single leg deadlift, step forward, deadlift, step forward, then we walk it back. Follow with me, in two, in one. Coming down into, into that single leg deadlift and up, step it forward, into that deadlift and up, step it forward, into that deadlift and up. This makes four, come down and raise through the hips, now step it back. Down and up, you're gonna feel that weight shift into the heel. It might be a little bit harder to balance. I wanna test you today. And up, step it back, and up. We're gonna do eight more reps here. Four steps forward and four steps back. Finding that stretch in the hamstring and then lifting up through the hips. Step it back for four. For three, keep that weight close. For two, last one, and I'm giving you a three second transition to that other side. All right, let's take it away. The weight switches the side that it was on. Coming down into that single leg deadlift, step forward and up. And up. That's four, now start stepping it back for four. Find that balance. For three, you do not have to go at my pace here. For two, and one. I had it in my head, we're getting 16 reps in. <laughs> Step forward, we've got four more forward, four more back. Back is staying straight throughout, pushing the booty out away from you. Last four, last three, last two, one more for me, lift up and grab a hold of that other weight. Coming into our narrow stance, dual leg deadlift. One, two, three to lower. One, two, three to raise. Core is tight, follow the eye gaze forward. Pressing your weight into the heels if you need to, lift the toes a little bit, find that stretch in the hamstring and bring yourself up, shoulders away from the ears. I had a lot more energy than I thought tonight. <laughs> Can you get one more for me in there? And raise it up, and you can put those weights to the side momentarily. So we have 25 seconds. Next up, we've got suitcase squats. So we're starting off with the weights at the side, coming down with the knees in line with the hips, and back up, parallel with each other. Our second exercise, the weights come to the front, keeping the legs where they are down and back up, or you can goblet squat it with the single weight. And our third one is forward step lunges, body weight only. If you didn't guess already, this one is for the quadriceps. So weights to the side, feet are forward in line with the hips, slow to come down and back up. Chest stays lifted throughout. Not allowing the weights to touch your thighs, keeping them away from the shins. Working on that squat depth, right? And back up. Back is staying straight. If you only come down a quarter of the way, it still counts. I don't mind how low you go with the squats. I just want you to keep working. Think about pulling up with those quads. Slow and controlled. Even though I know a lot of this work at has been go, go, go. But we are almost to the end already. We actually only have two more sets to go. Two more. And our final one is down on the mat. Last one. Bring it up and bring those weights to the shoulder right in front. Again, back into our squats, into front squats now. And lift. Don't allow those knees to buckle in. Pushing the booty away from you, coming down like you're sitting into a chair. And back up. Facing straight ahead. If you want, you can also opt. I know two minutes is a long time to work. You can bring that weight to center, 
coming down into a goblet squat and up. Very similar muscle being grouped. Well, same muscle being worked. Different style of doing the exercise, essentially. And up. And up. Three more. Two more. Last one. Lift it up. Five second transition to our next exercise. Take it to the back of your mat. And we forward step lunge alternating. Heel first, take that step a little wider. Forward, back to center. Take your time. It's our final burn for the quads. Pressing up through that front leg. Not allowing the knee to slam into the mat. Controlling that motion downward and back up. Let's get one more on either side. Last one forward and step it back. All right, we are now going into the thighs, more specifically the outer thighs, the glutes and the hips. And for our next set, you are going to hate me. <laughs> We've got curtsy step lunges. So I am going to use one of my 15 pound weights for this. You can hold it low or at the shoulder, coming into a curtsy step lunge, lift to the side and up, let's go. Curtsy step, bending through the knee and the hip, back up into that side lunge, not allowing the stationary leg to move. So this right leg stays where it is on the curtsy lunge, it stays where it is for that side lunge. And up, and up. Trying to keep both feet forward as you come into that curtsy. At the 30 second point, we take it into that side lunge and raise. You can switch that side of the weight, that, the shoulder that the weight is on. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Gotta love when you get real tongue tied. Just so excited. Pressing up through the glute and raise. For three, for two, Try to come down a little bit lower on this last one and up. All right, changing sides. Let's go ahead into that curtsy lunge. Whew. Step it out, up to the side and center. One, two, three, four. If you couldn't tell already, this is definitely my bad side. And raise to the side and raise, coming across the body, out away. One more here, lift it up, stay in that side lunge, switch the side the weight is on, and up. Stationary side lunge, working through the glute and the outer hip. And raise, and raise. You're pressing through with the bending leg to come up and lowering down, feeling that tension build. Two more. Last one. Now hold that weight low. Keep the legs nice and wide. Feet are out at 45. Indoor sumo squats. Coming down and lifting up through the heels. Torso is upright if you want to work more of the glutes. Slightly forward if you're trying to hit the hammies. And up, which are the shelf to our booty. So either way, you are kind of working the glutes. And lift. Last two, last one, drop that weight off and come to center. All right, how are we feeling? Would you believe we are on our final set and I have a sweaty mess. So we're coming down to the mat into our glute bridge position, loading our weight up across the hips. Feet are in neutral, all the way down onto your back. You can enjoy this one, it's our final burner. And our first exercise is to press through the heels, up, pump, lower, let's go. Up, pump, lower. Squeezing those booty cheeks, like you've got something to hold on to there. Lift, pump, lower. Saturday night moves. Lift, pump, lower. I'm totally kidding, or am I? Up, pump, lower. Sometimes when the adrenaline spikes, it's hard not to be semi-inappropriate. 
towards the ceiling and down. Curling those hip bones under, tucking the tailbone towards the chin, pressing through the heels. You're doing incredible. And you only have a minute and 40 seconds to go. Up, pump, lower. Up, pump, lower. Last three. And two. On one, I want you to come all the way down first. Now I wanna show you, if we were to anteriorly rotate the pelvis, you would see a slight gap between you and the mat, between your back and the mat. Instead of that, we're going to tuck forward, trying to close that gap between your back and the mat. Now lift up with the hip bones tucked under, and we are going to hold here for this entire minute. Just hold, squeeze those glutes. I want them tense, I want them rock solid right now. And I want you to hold that tilt forward the entire way through, trying to fight for more posterior rotation as you hold this bridge. If you need to, you can drop that weight off to the side right now. I want you to try to keep going with it though. Squeeze. Keep tucking it forward. There you go. All right. We only have one minute left to go. We've got 30 more seconds to hold. Keep squeezing. If you can, lift the hips a bit higher, still tucking forward with the hip bones. Tailbone towards the chin, picture it. Now, on our third exercise, you're gonna continue to hold that posterior rotation forward. We're going into our pulses in two and one. It's 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25. Keep holding that tilt, 23, 22, 21, you're doing amazing. 19, 16, 14, 12, 10, start counting down. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, are the glutes burning yet? For 2, and 1, hold that tilt as you lower down vertebrae by vertebrae, slowly, slowly, slowly to the mat and you can lower that weight over to the side. How do you guys feel? I'm pretty sure, pretty sure that was very intense. I hope you had an amazing time. Your cool down and warm up are in the links below. I would actually use the warm up as part of your post-workout recovery as well as just to get things going. So you can use it for either. It is down there and uh, what else did I have to tell you? This is the start of our newest series. Every week this month, I'll be bringing you a triceps focus workout. Not necessarily this intense, but I can't tell you it's gonna be easy. All right, everyone, thanks for joining me and I will see you for our next workout. Thanks for joining me for today's workout, everyone. I do realize that this was not the easiest strength training to get through, so I did wanna take a moment to congratulate you and to tell you to be proud of all the work or any of the work that you got in today. Now, don't forget that your free March fitness calendar is in the links below this video. Within this guide, you have five workouts a week to complete and the YouTube icons within that PDF are the clickable links to each day's workout, with the exception of our Wednesday uploads every Wednesday at 9 a.m. EST. Now, if for any reason those links are not working on your phone, you can go to the playlist section on my YouTube channel for those days in order. Now, before you leave me, be sure to smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel for a new routine every week, and don't forget to turn your notifications on for next week's lower body triceps strength and stability workout. We'll be using the block as well as our weights, and I do think it's gonna be quite a burner and one you don't wanna miss. All right, everyone, have an amazing day, and I'll see you for the next one.